What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sog Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, yeah, we are having fun. We're hanging out at Sog Lock. Let's go, baby, 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 baby. Okay, anyway, uh, last episode we took on a gym. No, we did not. Actually, I'm lying. We took on a, we took on Valor, and uh, Lake Valor and Lake Acuity or uh, Lake Verity, and now we're going to Acuity. Anyways, we figured it out. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm having a great day myself. Uh, I don't know if I bought repels. I swear, if I didn't buy repels, I'm going to be sad. Oh my gosh. Did I really... I, I really I really didn't buy repels. I'm silly. Great. <laughs> well, in this episode, we are going to be taking on... Uh, some scary stuff. Some very scary stuff. And I don't know how I necessarily feel about taking on the scary. It just... It is a scary that needs to be taken on. Oh, I don't have Rock Smash on anybody. Uh, crap -a doodle On that -a doodle Um, who can learn Rock Smash? Dakon and Babe. I have access to the move deleter. Is there a move that I wouldn't want? No, that's the problem. I actually like Dakon's moveset. Well. Joy, I can't get that item. I want it, but it makes absolutely no sense to go run and grab it. So, yeah, in this episode, we are going to uh, Scariesville. And we're probably... I can't get that item either! Uh, oh, triggered. I want these items, but I legit cannot obtain them. It's That's that's super sad. That's super duper sad that I can't obtain them. Because, like, what if they're Master Balls? Like, if Joy and I's Soul Link has taught us anything, like, oh my god. <laughs> like, anything can just be a Master Ball for no reason. Like, it's been literally insanity. I can get this item that's in here, though. Oh, look. It's a Hitmonlee. What a beautiful Pokemon. Oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> um, I, I, I thought that there was something there, but apparently there is not, and we're already on the encounter route, which I didn't expect to be there that quickly. So, we got a Power Weight, which honestly does not help us, although it does give us, like, a little bit of stuff. Okay, Encounter, maybe? Yes, encounter is a. Is a Latias. Um. Okay. So I did not expect our encounter to be a good Pokemon. I literally only have six Pokeballs. I'm a silly Willy Billy Goat. And we got to run away from these because I don't have items for them. Oh. I'm like literally foregoing three Pokemon. Oh. I am not a big fan of doing that, and unfortunately, it is the case that we are doing that. Ugh. Because I'm not, there's, at this point, at where I'm at, there's no reason for me to go back and go fix it, right? Because, okay, that was a crit. We learned that was a crit. But yeah, there is no reason to go back, because of the way our team is set up. Charizard! Charizard! <laughs> We legit oh come here, please. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Oh my god Charizard literally and I I mean I date the recording for Charizard We talked about this in the previous episode or like before I recorded this Um we were talking about how Dakon needed a better moveset because if it missed a high jump kick it's inevitably dead and Dakon survived. What the heck? Oh my god, Dakon. <laughs> I also love that it is the first high jump, or the first jump kick that I attempt since that comment from Charizard. It's just amazing to me. And he literally, even he called it too. I'm giving the props to Charizard right now. I, 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 I really am. Because... Charizard literally called it. He's like, it is just your luck that it is going to happen. <laughs> just like, I gotta give you a round of applause, buddy. Like, you, you straight up called it, and I love it. 
Like, I hate that I missed high jump, but a jump kick. I do. But, like, if I'm going to miss it there on my first jump kick attempt after we just talked about that issue itself, like, that, that you, you can't get more perfect than that. So, definitely 100% appreciative of it because it got me prepared for that gun's death. <laughs> it really did. I was 100% ready to add slacking to the team as much as I've talked about, eh, I don't really want it. That, that's going to happen, and I don't want it to. I don't want an easy Pokemon to be on the team, but... Also, I love how this happened just as I was like, Oh, we can just forego encounters. Apparently, we cannot, because we're going to die if we do. Um, hi, Healing House. I know I haven't, like, used any PP or anything, but... Yeah. Wow. Like, again, can't be more perfect than that. Larian. Okay, we're fine. Snubble, Snubble. I almost. I'm super excited. Okay, Snubbles are a good Pokemon. I don't know why I low kicked the Snubble, but you know what? I did, and we can yell at me for that. Seedra. Not having like efficient stuff for Seedra is kind of oof. Not gonna lie. Yeah, we do not have an... We really don't have efficient things to handle Seedra. Oh, we missed a fly. Of course we did. Leftovers. Skarmory. Okay. So, yeah. So, no. It is weird not having, like, the efficient things to take on some of these Pokemon. Because I'm like, okay, we got this. And it's like, no, John. Things are catching up to you. Things are scary. This next gym leader's ace is level 48. Like, it is not, we are not in an easy spot. And we got to take it, take note and analyze that. Because, like I said, the next gym leader here is 48. And then from there, from the level 48, the next gym leader is 57. So it's like, we are, like, we are in that part of the game where it's, where it is tough. It is going to be difficult. And I got to switch because Metal Burst will do double the amount of damage that I do to it. And I'm not letting, I'm not letting Skarmory kill our, um, our girl, Brittany. Um, it's caught Flashfire. Two, we had a Dawnstone and two of it was Evolved. It would 100% make this easier. I'm going to go ahead and back on. I, I don't like this call. This call's scary. But I think I have to make this call. It's going to hit me with whatever it can here. But I have to make the call. And I am going to go ahead and bulk up first. Because I want to see if I, I can garner as much damage as possible. Before any move uh, from the flying type variant happens. And I'm hoping it's a physical flying type move that hits me. Or it resists a steel move. Do you only have steel moves? Because if you only have steel moves, that is beautiful for me. I don't think this is going to kill. I think it's going to do like 50%. Yep, just about 50%. Let's go. Yeah, you only have steel moves. Cool. Well, you're dead then. And I'm going to heal now. Because that's kind of, that was oof that we almost lost. A Pokemon that we shouldn't have lost. But... Yeah, no, honestly, it's it's fun when I get to react with you guys and talk to you guys about stuff like that. Because, like, I literally, I asked I asked Charles, I was like, what is your honest opinion about Dacron's edition? And he, he straight up gave me the honest opinion of what he thought. And it's nice to know those things because I, again, that was something I personally was worried about. And I am talking a lot louder into the mic. Oh, I already turned it down. Okay, we're good. We're, we're solid. We're solid. I already handled that. Good on me for doing that. I honestly didn't trust myself to be uh, uh, good enough to do that, but you know what? We did it, and that's good. So, yeah, so I, 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 I sometimes ask, like, honest opinions on things because I want to know and I want to feel like I'm appeasing you guys whilst also appeasing myself. Again, I, I, I know this has been a kind of a topic over the last series of episodes, but, yeah, I, I care, and by that's one of the ways I show that I care is by asking for your opinion and by asking about... What you guys think? How like think, feel, like anything. So yeah, so that's what's happening there. It's like 
what do you what like and that's kind of why i ask these imperative questions because the you can't help the curiosity of the inquisitive mind like at all i'm sorry but it's not gonna happen and you know i just love kind of transpiring these thoughts and thinking about all of the plausibilities of and emphasizing that i care because i feel like audience and being there for your audience is important because without the audience you don't have the channel but without the audience you don't have the connections and the fun of the channel as well so audience is super imperative in my opinion to everything that's going on and like i said i genuinely love you guys and i want to make sure you guys feel cared about because you are um in a very high degree so i mean hence the mic being like basically fixed to my knowledge I am going to check this episode, because last episode I didn't hear any problems, so if this episode is fixed, then boom, we nailed it, we did what we were supposed to do, and I'll be very happy. Um, so I am very much excited and ready to figure out, hey, did I do it? Did I do what I was supposed to? Also, I totally sent in a Typhlosion, and that has Trace. Great. Um, fun. Um, but I can locate this to Oblivion, so we'll be okay. Because it wants to just eruption and be dumb. So, you know, if things want to eruption and be dumb, we let them eruption and be dumb, right? I, I think that's a great plan of action. Also, I'm so glad I have super potions um, instead of hyper potions. Like, a plethora of hyper potions. Because I would not be able to use a plethora of hyper potions effectively. And it would suck for me to... I'd be so upset if I did that. Um, but, yeah. So, another thing that I was worried about is, like, timing of episodes. And what I mean by that is, like... So Christmas Eve is y'all's kill episode, which I have to get an, actually an extra upload up this week because of that. I failed to do so last week. And it is for sure nerve-wracking because I am just out here thinking about all of the plausibilities and all of the things that could potentially happen as a result of, um, you know, having the kill episode be that of all days. And, yeah, it's it's definitely a scare, but it is something we have to do, and it's something that is going to happen regardless of what happens. But I'm scared that it's going to be a triple kill episode. Like, Merry Christmas, half your team's dying. Gotta check the comments to make sure, like, <laughs> make sure who on your team's dying for that Sunday episode. <laughs> like, what's sad, right? Is it a Christmas Eve episode, like I said? That does mean that Christmas Day is the day that things officially die. <laughs> like, how sad is that? That you guys get to murder half the team on Christmas Day. Like, and it's technically, like I said, because Christmas Day is when that voting poll ends. So, Merry Christmas. Have the teams dead. How do you feel about it? <laughs> it's just like, oh, the timing couldn't have been more just insane. Also, I was that. I really do not have a way to deal with that, actually. Oh, no, I do. Lucario's Volt Absorb. That was the whole reason that I got rid of, or that the whole reason I added Dak on. That's right. Okay. We remembered. I'm proud of that. Um, also, do, we don't have the Earth Plate, right? Oh, you're not a physical attacking Mon, though. You're not a physical attacking Mon, though. You're not a physical attacking Mon. So it's chill. <laughs> Oh, okay. But yeah, like, it's just impeccable timing. And, you know, Soglog has had those moments of timing impeccability. Um, for sure. Um, and I love how impeccable some of these moments are. And it's funny because I can't talk about, like, some of its impeccabilities and why it's impeccable. Because you guys haven't seen the, the, the excess into why. And it's, it makes it even almost all the more hilarious because it's just like, oh, you, I can't talk about this, but it's hilarious when you guys get to understand. Now, mind you, do I expect you guys to delve deep into Saga Lock and be like, oh my god, that's why he was watering the, why he couldn't say X, Y, Z. Oh my god, that's hilarious. No, I don't expect that at all, but will some people do that? Yes, especially like some of the people that I talked to about it, um, because like, of course, I'm going to talk about some of the hilarious impeccabilities of the situation um, at hand. And it's funny, too, because it's just like, okay, so when does XYZ happen? Because, 
Sogwalk, for the most part, is unplanned in the way, like, okay, so, and what I mean by that, also, this is Route 117 Encounter, um, good thing it's nothing of important. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it is unplanned, and I love it. Okay, wow, our three mons that we've passed up on were an Alakazam, a Latios, an Alakazam, and a Gengar. What a what a set of three mons to not be able to catch because of low poke. If this is a master ball, please, please no. Okay, good. We got our third freaking protector, because we need that. Um but yeah, like it's it's unplanned. So the fact that episode 120 falls on Christmas Eve is just hilarious. Because why why would it not be? Like what would make it so that like it just it just it just was beautiful. Um, that that happened. Well, it's kind of like how I had a Thanksgiving upload this year, too. Like, with, uh, freaking Soul Link. So it's kind of funny. Like, and I had a birthday upload, too. Like, it, it, this year has been hilarious. This year has had its moments. And it's been lovely, to say the least. And we're only 16 minutes in. So, crap. You know what we do? Because we are 16 minutes and we reach no point. We buy Pokeballs, slash potions, and we get encounters. That's what we do, because we have time for it. Where is, I, okay, so here's what's scary to me. We are gonna be quite broke. Entering the Elite Four. That is quite sketchy, and I do not approve of that. So, I really hope that we'll be able to sell items and a bunch of them that will help us traumatically, or not traumatically, dramatically. Who do I have in the front? I've got Babe. Um, I'm actually going to switch and put 2-Bit in the front for catching. Pokemons. Our encounter is... A Pokemon that I really don't feel comfortable having 2-Bit out against. I'm thinking and debating on whether or not I should even catch this or not. I'll try it. I don't see why not. Because I can cut and see if it... Yeah, cut. Oh! It woke up first turn. And we sit here and wonder why I'm scared of this thing. Thunderfang is going to crit at one point and it's going to be bad. Okay, Dark Void... Why do you bust out the Volt Tackle when you're at 1 HP? And... Uh, big Sads. Hashtag Big Sad. Okay, well, we're at 120 then. This is not 120. Oh, that's a much higher level. It's scarier, Zapdos. Okay, we're at 120. Which is an Infernape. Which... Can we stop... Can we stop missing Volt... Like, that, that's, that's, three out of four. It's a, it's an 80% accurate move that we missed three out of four freaking times. Like, what the? will doesn't affect it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm in a Magma Storm. I think that does not kill, but it traps it in, and then we can just Ultra Ball it and hope it just gets caught. And honestly, if it doesn't, does it really matter? No. Because our team is pretty solidified. But I needed to name a Pokemon Aaron. But I need to do it a a Ron because I need it to be annoying. But yeah, no, it's and, and and again, that's what I'm talking about though. It's like stuff like that has been occurring lately, and it's it's very sketch. But yeah, and us having like I said, no form of healing and no form of like 
things. Oh, look, that's a Pokemon that Nick got in uh, Letter Lock. And it does not evolve into Dust Stocks, unfortunately. That's Cascoon. I really do wish. Wow, that was actually really good, and I'm proud of that. Grip Claw. I do wish he would have gotten the uh, Adele. We we love Dell, and I definitely miss Dell a lot. Dell was a beautiful Pokemon that we just truly love and adore. Sticky Barb. Like you 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 can't sit here and tell me you didn't love Dell. Dell was a beautiful Mudfog Pokemon that just is too lovely to go without. Route 121, Route 121, Route 121, come on, Route 121, Jesus! Level 30, that would be great actually to encounter. Wobble 30? A Wingle. And a no. <laughs> what a great way to end the episode! Get, encountering three Pokemon and only catching one? And running away from one? Like... One dying, running away from another, and then killing the other. <laughs> like... <laughs> or one dying, one catching, one running. Like, all three possible abilities that you can do when you catch a Pokemon just happened. Which is amazing. Anyways, I hope y'all had a fantastic, wonderful rest of your day. Um, Hopefully, the Hawks won. Let me know in the comments below if they did. They, they're playing the Texans, so I'll be mad if they didn't. But I'll be at work when you see this, and uh, the Seahawks will be playing when you see this. So, um, yeah, love you all so much. Keep it up. Bye.